So today we're on a familiar trail that takes us towards Clark and the Ben. Except we're not going to Clark and the Ben. We're going to Mount Shade. One that everyone usually bypasses to get to Clackers. But for as long as I've been in the area, I've seen a line coming off the ridge of that hill. I've always thought that looks pretty tasty. Can never work out where it was and how to get to it. But today, we're going to find out. Thank you. There's this access road which eventually stops and only gets you so far. And after that, you've got a few options in terms of push up. So, either way, there's going to be a chunk of hiker bike for the last few hundred meters of elevation gained. But you know, considering I've never been here before, still hoping it'll be worth it. To wait and see. But I'm feeling hopeful. That'll be a pretty low tech, fast, open moor side with good views and the sun at my back. Which all in all, Sounds like a pretty good, pretty good one to me. The question is whether the descent from that is worth this. But that's the balance of risk and reward we're rolling the dice with today. I'm just gonna climb up this bad boy now. This hike a bike is so intense because the hill is just so steep and the line's just straight up it. But seriously, check out that view. Well, we made it to the top of Mount Shade and there's no end near it. It's been a touch windy, so we're going to have to subtitle all of this. No sense. What a god of here. We have Clack and Ben over there, which is nice. Over here, the rest of the So it's quite a long trail from what I can work out because we're heading that direction. So we go down a little bit. Just take it easy. massive amount of tech just kind of fast flowing through the ever stuff with bits like that that are washed out that oh geez oh pay attention Kelly but of course if it's steep climbing up we're gonna be steep going back down wheel wash out there. It's all going so well on the steep bit. It's a shame.
had read on Trail 40 is that this old trail is not really that great in winter and going through the boggy bits I can totally see when that would be the case so second cairn There we go, there's the trail. Oh yeah. Just getting thick and getting boggy. I've had a lot of rain recently. This is quite sandy underneath it. Man alive. It's so overgrown in this section. convinced that this is the trail. So I'm not convinced that's the way so we'll go back then. I don't think I'm going to find this trail today. Coming off the top of Shade was fun, but this trail that cuts across there, I don't think I'm going to find it today. And I think the answer for me today is that gate in that style. It could be back into the access road that I started on. So some rides go better than others for lots of reasons. Sometimes there's a mechanical, or you're just not feeling it, or the trails are in bad condition, or you're tired, but lots of reasons. And I think that this investment in time that we have, especially for those of us who are parents, it, the risk of riding somewhere different, or going somewhere new, trying something different, trying a different setup, is doesn't justify the reward of riding somewhere new or trying a different setup when the risk of it not going well or it being a crap ride or it not working and failing is too great. So a lot of us, myself included, when we don't have unlimited time, ride a lot of the same places and a lot of the same things. We don't explore as much as we used to because we don't have the time to invest in the misses. We don't, we don't have the same level of risk available to us in terms of stuff not working. And this goes for like risk in the traditional sense, you know, crashes, injuries, hitting big jumps, riding technical stuff, pushing our levels as well. As we get older, especially those of us parents who have limited time, the risks are measured differently. And so are the rewards. Where the crap is the rest of this style? 
why am I using that gate? So, very interesting questions right now. So today, I took a risk of riding somewhere new. Somewhere I'd never ridden before. And that, from what I can tell, isn't ridden a great deal better for people. But, because I've seen this trail from my house on the hillside for so long, the reward of finally riding it and knowing what it was justified that risk. Sometimes risks pay off. Sometimes they don't, that's why they're called risks. Today, I don't think it paid off. I think today, I physically really push myself on that climb. Well, you're muddy. And, <laughs> oh, it's a fun mudslide. Jeezy peaks. But that reward didn't pay off in the way that I had hoped. Which is a shame. That's what you get when you engage in a sport with very silence of risk. One of which being, is it going to be a good day for you? And the answer is, any day on the bike is a good day on the bike. Thank you.